Alright everyone, I'm sure you're all wondering, Alec, what the heck? Your uploads have been slower than a... I don't even know anymore. What have you been up to? First of all, tasses. Tasses are a pain in the tass, I guess you could say. But in addition to working on my zombie tape neighbors from Hex, as well as the uh, zombie tape neighbors tool speedrun, we got this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am making my very own video game. What was this say? Okay, fine, screw you. Pythonic it. We must Python this at once. You know, kind of like that, um, My Little Pony meme, um, We Must Science This at Once. Anyway, I might as well show you some of the game and working on it. So, um, as for what the game is like, well... It might be a little slow because I am recording this with a PowerSoft. Yeah, see, it's, um, slow as farts because of how I'm recording this. Hopefully I can find a new method of recording it. But anyway, yeah, since this is the first level, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain. And this here is your health bar. So naturally, yeah, it's gonna be slow since, well, I am recording with PowerSoft. And even though it's going to look incredibly crappy, I want to show you the, um, the first boss. Now, let me sh well, it's not the first actual boss, it's like a mini boss. Oh, shove it up your butt. How do you simplify this? Alright, so anyway, yeah, this is, um, the first mini boss, and it's known as the Pecking Order. And I actually had to define sprites for each and every one of them. Yeah, by the way, you see all these here? I had to make each individual sprite. Including all of the death sprites for the, um, each member of the pecking order. Now, what is the pecking order, you may ask? Well, I mean, in real life, it's like some sort of, I don't know, even, I'm not even sure what the pecking order really is. It's like, I guess it, it's sort of like a hierarchy system, but yeah, anyway, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to put the forest F1 after forest 2. And uh, we're going to want to change this. Now this is actually a, n probably not the best way of programming. Yeah, I know. I'm pulling a Yandere dev with this. But at least I don't have a mountain of elf, 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 elf. Elf. Is Yandere dev an elf? Questions I ask myself. So yeah, even though it is going to look incredibly laggy, I'm still going to show you what the pecking order is like to give you an idea of what we're going in for. Also, I have yet to figure out how to add music. Blow me. Yeah, so it's a little slow. You, now, the first two members of the peck, the first two woodpeckers are really easy to take down. You don't want to touch these walls or else you die and something like so. I think I might fix that. So yeah, the hitboxes are pretty, uh, tight. But yeah, you see that? I had to get, um, something down for each of their eyes. And yeah, the bullets also... Um, have, like, little explosions. Yeah, that actually wasn't a sprite. Now I'm gonna show you what they do for an attack. Each, all of them do this, and it's a dive straight down, and then peck the ground like a maniac, you know? And some of their uh, animations tend to kind of glitch a little, but... And as you can see, your health bar changes colors, and there's, uh, like, little enemies that... All I've gotten so far are red ladybugs and orange ladybugs, which are these. Red ladybugs appear at level 1, and... Now, that set walls thing is actually how it creates each individual wall. Yeah, I want to show you all four members of... All seven members of the pecking order. So, the purple one was wood. The, uh, blue one is woods. 
The green one is Woody. The yellow one is Woodson. Yeah, I know that's not probably not a real name. Um, the orange one is um, I forgot. I don't know, I have their names all defined in here. I know this here, this red one is Woodstein. And this last one, the black one, is Woodrow. Now, as you can probably tell, even though the game is like lagging like hell right now, um. How, what am I saying again? Oh yeah, this one is Woodrow. But yeah, all the woodpeckers get faster as the game, as it goes on. So this, the black one is the fastest of them all. And sometimes this happens. I don't know how to fix that, but I need to fix this too. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this set walls function here is um, it's how I control. The walls spawning and it runs every time through every loop. And by the way, look at all these counters. Yeah, I guess I could put if not player not drawn, but who cares about Python? Oh, uh, that's what you're coding in Bonehead. And if you see this name up here, I'm not actually gonna call the game Speeder. I'm gonna call it something else. The name I'm going with is Cata Ant. And the premise is quite simple. In, um, some meanie ladybug, which is completely contrary to how, wood, how ladybugs really are. Ladybugs are sweet little things. Um, an evil ladybug has set up bombs in ten worlds. Or probably the first nine, I think. I don't know. I'm still working it out. And what they're doing is, what she, well, they're all set to go off at a pretty short time, so, yeah. And the only way, now you play as an ant, and the only way she can stop this evil ladybug from blowing up her entire, all the, the entire world is by catapulting herself in the air and then guiding herself through the skies and avoiding walls and enemy fire. So, yeah. Just so she can make it in time. And um, actually, how about I pull up the bomb sprite for ya? Because I really won't be able to show you in game. Actually, come to think of it. I'll probably show you through here. Where is it? So, yeah. It's in here somewhere. Uh, it's right here. I titled it Explosive.png because, yeah. I uh, don't have access to my BNN keys right now and uh, the spacebar, and I don't want to type out, try to copy and paste that. So yeah, this is what the bomb looks like, and it's got this uh, text, this part over here, because that's actually translucent. Transparent, not translucent, you foof. So yeah, that's the whole sprite. I'm not sure why I did this little outlet thing. I don't think this is what a real bomb looks like, just saying. Now, you're probably wondering, what's the evil ladybug's name? I'm gonna call her Ladybug, you know, like... Lady being a title, and then Bug. Yeah, I'll put this back, of course. Of horse. Yeah, I admit, some of the- many of the wall designs were actually random. And, uh, it looks like I might not be able to show you. Should I leave it at 21? I'm gonna leave it at 21, that looks funny. I only chose an over 67 uh, because it was funny. Alright, we're gonna do 150. And. So, wait, if it's at Y position 150, well, that means uh, this won't. Now, the way the walls work is that this is their X position, this is their Y position. How wide they are horizontally and how 
tall they are. So this block here is 400 blocks pixels tall and only 20 pixels wide. Yeah, I'm sorry that I'm not the most eloquent speaker. But hey, at least I tried my dernedness. <laughs> well, yeah, I haven't made much progress on the game since starting it. I'm only two levels in, by the way. And, um, it probably is pointless to check this with this. Thing. So, yeah, you drop bombs with Z and shoot forward with A. Yeah, you know what? Oh, where have you seen this before? Oh, yeah, Cuphead's plane levels. Yeah, I totally remember the part where you have to just dodge a whole slew of walls in Cuphead. Also, a lot of the um, bosses and enemies are going to be insect-based. Which means, yes indeed, Lee Kids, you heard it here. When I'm done with this, this game is going to be full of bugs. <laughs> Hopefully just the insect kind of bugs and not, you know, dumb bugs. I was thinking of adding some sort of shield-ish mechanic to the fa like coming out of the face that would be activated with S, but I'm worried that might be likened to the uh, parry mechanic in Cuphead. By the way, what the what does parry even mean? All right, there you go. That's what damage looks like, fellas. And I also want to add some sort of attack to come out of your um, antenna that is activated with um, Q. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wanted to make the health bar flash, outline flash white when you're down to your last hit point. But I, uh, I encountered a problem. It didn't work. Like, well it did. It slowed the game down to the, the well, this. <laughs> well, yeah, I think that might be it for today. Well, I'll try to keep you updated if I can. All right. Uh, I don't know, I can't seem to get this thing out of here, so. Thank you for watching, and, uh, yeah. I'm really sorry for the, uh, slow uploads. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye-bye.